Verizon Wireless said today it had the wrong number, a $2 monthly fee. That's what it planned to charge many of its 91 million customers just to pay their own bills. That charge is now gone. The company called it a convenience fee. National correspondent Lee Count reports many called it something else, loudly. If Verizon had hoped announcing a new $2 fee in the middle of the holidays would go unnoticed, the response on the internet quickly proved them wrong. Within minutes, online petition drives blossomed, and so did the YouTube rants. I will be making your life hell. Some customers even came to voice their displeasure in person, like Alex Soto. And if they tack any more fees to my phone bill, I'm ready to take a hike. The $2 charge was supposed to apply to anyone making single payments online or by phone. Verizon tried to clarify the fee today, saying it was needed to offset the costs of processing those last-minute payments. But even the FCC seemed dubious, threatening to launch an investigation. But late tonight, Verizon relented in a statement posted on the company's website, saying, we take great care to listen to our customers. Verizon's president announced he was eliminating the need to institute the fee at this time. I think companies are finally starting to realize that they cannot nickel and dime consumers anymore. Iwana Rusu is with a policy arm of Consumer Reports magazine and says there's a clear trend giving consumers more power than ever. The question that companies really have to ask themselves is, is this worth it? Is a $2 transaction fee worth the extremely bad media you're going to get right now in this particular economic environment where people are already suffering? How will this come off for your company's image? Is it worth it? But Jeff, consumers aren't always victorious. They did manage to beat back that $5 a month debit card fee that Bank of America was trying to institute, but there are still a lot out there. The airlines still have their baggage fees. And despite public outcry over Netflix, over their fee structure, they haven't budged either. Jeff. Lee Cowan, thank you.